up guys Kara here with another video thanks so much for tuning in I hope this video finds you all healthy and well as you read in the title we will be playing with a couple of new Fenty items that I picked up I actually picked up six products off the Fenty website like since when but there's been some things that was recently released that I wanted to purchase and then as you may or may not know on Friday Fenty released their Cheeks Out collection. I have been anticipating the Cheeks Out collection for so long. I really wanted to try these cream products. So as soon as I got my package today, you guys know I had to jump on camera with you guys. I did pick up two of the cream blushes. A cream bronzer. This beautiful Cognac Candy Diamond Glow Balm. I was so excited about this one. And I'm not even a, girl, a glitter girl, but... You guys will see how all this worked out. I forgot to use the mascara that I picked up, so I'll have to let you guys know in a future video how that works out for me. But I also picked up the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. If you want to know how these products work out and my first impressions on these products, go ahead and keep watching the video, and I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Lady up. For context, I just wanted to come in here with a bare face. Now, when I usually use cream products, I normally do what is called underpainting in the makeup artistry world. It's underpainting. So you put all your cream products first and then you go over it with your foundation. That's why I'm coming here with a bare face. So I want to grab my Fenty concealer for context. We're doing Fenty products, so why not continue? I'm not going in with primer or anything. I just want to go in with the products and see how everything plays on a bare face. But with the Fenty Concealer, mine is in the shade 385. I'm actually going to mix in some of my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And this one is in the shade Deep Chestnut. So I want to mix these two together because this is more of a drying concealer to me. I want to add some hydration to it by mixing that e.l.f. Concealer with it. So first this is the Fenty here. I'm just going to draw three stripes, four stripes. Underneath my eyes. Now, I never shared a whole lot about these videos, I mean, about these brushes. I did mention to you guys a couple of months back I picked up some Sephora brushes. Well, I went in store and all the brushes was 50% off. This was like sometime back in February, so everything was 50% off, so I added more brushes to my collection. So I want to test these brushes out. This one is the Sephora number 47, the Pro Foundation Brush. Now, the thing about the Sephora brushes, the reason they was 50% off is because they changed these brushes up completely. So now the new Sephora Pro brushes, they're all black. It doesn't have the silver ferrule. So I'm, I love the Sephora Pro brushes, so I'm happy to get these half off. This one is new, but I do have the number 56 Pro Flawless Airbrush. And this is another foundation brush that they had. And I used to use this for concealer, but if you notice, the new one that I bought, the 47, it has like that angle. I'm, yeah, you can see it there. It has like that flat angle, as opposed to this one, it's just fluffy. And you can see it's stained. It's clean, but it's stained because I used the mess out of that one. So I'm excited to see how that slant is going to play out. And as you can see, I'm blending this part of the concealer downward because I want it to be brightened, but then you'll see the pronouncement from when we go in with that contour. Well, for me, it's more of a contour. And you'll see the reason for me doing that a little later on in the video when it comes to doing the cream bronzer. I do want to go over that concealer with a damp sponge. I hope it's not too damp, but I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything out a little bit more i like to use the brush the brush more for placement and then take up any excess product with the sponge and make sure everything is you know me blended this is that elf camo concealer sponge i actually did a full face of elf video and it was taking me it's taking me a little longer to edit it i had a problem with the corruption on my ipad but i do still have the footage that video will be coming but this sponge I tried it out for the first time in that video and I like it it's really nice this sponge now here we have the Fenty cream bronzer I'm excited I picked up the shade number six 
06 in chocolate. Similar in size and shape to the original bronzer that she had. I had Coco Nori here. And as you can see, this one says cream all over it so that you can tell the difference. I like that little touch. So, yeah, let's go ahead and open this baby up. And that's what chocolate looks like there. And yeah, let's go ahead and swatch it. And that's chocolate on my finger there. And that's what chocolate looks like blended out. So the bronzer looks like it could be shared out. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and put it on the face. I'm actually going to take my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. I like this brush because it has like that point in there. So it'll help me be a little bit more precise with where I place it. I'm excited, y'all. Let's see how this goes. I'll definitely go over it with the sponge. I know I haven't set and set my concealer and it's definitely starting to move up under there, but we'll blend it out and keep pushing. Alright guys, I'm going to come in a little closer so you guys can see. I should have came in a little closer for the application. But to me, I don't know. Is it me or is it just like it blended out really sheer? Like I can see it, but it's like sheer. But maybe it's because it's more of a contour color for me. And it also could be because I have all this damn concealer in the middle of my face. So let's keep this process going. Pinch it and bronze along the sides of my nose. I was going to get a smaller bl brush, but I don't even have to. Yeah, I definitely like that bronzer better with the sponge. That looks nice now. But this is not a bronzer shade for me. So let's have see. Let's keep the process going. Now, this is my first diamond balm from Fenty Beauty. This is the shade Cognac Candy. Oh, I just stuck my finger in there. And that's what that looks like. That looks so pretty. The way this reflects in the light, y'all, like, you don't even understand how excited I am to try it. I went ahead and bust out this Real Technique sponge. I've never tried it before. This is a Miracle Finish sponge and it says it's for blush and highlighter. So I thought this would be nice to use with this highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that sponge. I'm going to pinch it some, but I'm going to tap it right into the Diamond Balm. And let's go ahead and apply that. Oh, shoot. Y'all see that? Woo wee. And I do like to apply these kind of products before I do my eyebrows because I like to like put the product all over here so that when it reflects, like it's blinded in that whole angle there. Like oh, that is nice. And yeah, it definitely does have glitter particles, which I'm not a fan of. I started not to get this product just because of it, but I know the first diamond glow, diamond, that's what it's called, diamond mom that they came out with was not a shade that I thought would fit me and being that I seen this shade, yo, Kona Candy, this shade is like everything. That looks like it'll be so pretty with the sun hitting it, even though I'm not a fan of glitter. And why am I putting this down the bridge of my, my nose? But I guess if we're gonna do it, let's do it all the way, right? I'm not necessarily a fan of glitter on my face, 
but I don't know. For, there was something about this that was calling my name. So let's. Oh gosh, that is hella glittery though. See, here it looks really, really pretty though. Are you guys seeing this? Like, oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and mix my two Fenty foundations together. I have the original foundation in the, what is it, the Pro Filter Soft Matte in the shade 420, but I think the Hydrating One shade that I have is 445. It fits me better. If you saw my Full Face of Fenty video, I explained to you guys that I'm actually more of a fan of the Pro Filter Matte foundation, even with me having normal to dry skin. This Hydrating Foundation, for me, I think it was just more of a more of the transfer and everything that turned me off from this foundation. This one weighs so much better on me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix the two for the sake of this video. I'm gonna put two pumps of the matte on the back of my hand and then one pump of the hydrating. And when it comes to this underpainting technique I was telling you about as far as applying cream products on my bare face and then going in with my foundation, I tend to use the fluffier brush and this is not the brush per se that I would normally use but this is what I grab so I'm just gonna go and go over my face with the foundation lightly I just feel like with this method, I end up using less foundation because you only have to like brush on to merge everything together, you know? Oh, I don't like this brush. What brush is this? The Sedona Lace F303. And when I picked it up, I knew it shed, but I still picked it up anyway. I hate when a brush sheds on my skin. I'm just going to take that same sponge I had, take up what's left on of that product and just try to go over the areas that I think need more coverage, which I don't think anything needs more coverage. I think we're pretty good, but let's just blend everything out. Now guys, you see, you can still see the bronzer up underneath my foundation. But to me, chocolate is not a bronzer color. I don't think it adds warmth. I think it's more of a contour shade. So I'm gonna let my foundation sink into my skin, do my eyebrows, take this damn scarf off my head, <laughs> and I'll be back so that we can try out the cheek products. I did. I did pick up two blushes, so when we get back, we're gonna try those blushes out on each cheek. Let's see what those are working with, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. I went ahead and let the foundation settle in. For the eyes, I went in with my Soft Glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I put on lashes, which is the same lashes I've been wearing for the last couple of videos. It's the Kiss Mink Couture, whatever it's called. Everything that I have on my face will be listed and linked down in the description box below in case you're wondering. After I applied my lashes, I wanted to, to finish up my eye look and I used the wrong mascara. I totally forgot that I picked up the Fenty mascara. I wanted to try it out in this video, but totally forgot. So I'll have to get back to you guys on that. It is time to get into these cream blushes. I picked up two. So I picked up the shade number 10 in Rose Latte. And that's what that shade looks like. It looks like a pretty mauve nudish kind of color. And then the other shade I picked up is 08 Summertime Wine. And that's what that shade looks like there. So being that I liked the bronzer more with the sponge, I'm gonna continue using that, um, the Real Technique sponge I told you guys about. So I'm gonna take the shade Summertime Wine and I applied it there. I need a mirror. Let me see, I don't know. This mirror, this packaging is super small, so let's see. I can see my cheek in it though. So let's go ahead and apply that. I'm gonna smile. And 
and tap that over on my cheek. That's pretty, y'all, but on camera, it's coming up way more potent than it really is. Well, it is potent. Let me not get it twisted. It is potent. And on my skin tone, I knew this shade would work out for my skin tone. So, I like the way it looks. It doesn't look patchy at all. So, sponges may be the way to go with these. Well, apply it with a sponge, and then if you want, you can blend it out with powder. I'm going to leave it as is for now. Let's go in with the other shade, which, again, is Rosé Latte. And I'm going to take the back of the sponge because I used the butt last time. I'm going to take the back of the sponge here and dip into Rosé Latte. Look at that, y'all. That is like an everyday shade, y'all. I'm adding a little bit more. I'm layering it and building it up. Shared out even more than the other one. I'm going to try to share that out some more. And if you feel like you apply too much, you can always go back in with the foundation brush that you had used and blend over it. And then I'm going to take it again. And add a little potency back. So the blending is like key here. I think that looks nice. I also forgot I purchased the hydrating mist. I wanted to put that on before I put on the foundation. But let's go ahead. Oh. I almost thought I wasn't spraying anything. That is so nice and light. Oh my gosh. The smell, it smells heavily fragrant, I'm not going to lie. The ingredients is aqua, dimethicone, some other ingredients. Alcohol is on the list. It's the one, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh product here listed. I don't see anything that says fragrance, but then it could be something that's fragrance, but not listed as fragrance. But yeah, that the mist was really nice on this. So it smells really good. And... But it's $30, y'all. So I'm going to use that sparingly. But yeah, here are the blushes side to side. So like I said, on this side, we use the shade Summertime Wine. And then on this side, we use the shade Rosé Latte, which this is a pretty everyday kind of brush. Really pretty. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I like them both. Because this is nice and fun for the summer. I think that'll be really nice for these upcoming months. But then like a more everyday look. I tried to pick colors that I knew that I was going to wear. So like I said, with the spring coming up. Well, we're in spring. With, with the upcoming warmer weather, I knew I would like summer, summertime wine. So I'll be rocking that. And then this one here, Rosé Latte, is more of an everyday kind of blush that I can wear. I think it looks like a natural flush on my skin tone. So yeah. I really like this guys. I like the way the face came out and doing the underpainting technique it makes that bronzer not too much and not too potent. It gives me more of that contour effect. I went in with the original Fenty Glow Gloss Balm and that's the only thing that I have on lips. No lip liner or anything like that. Um, never mind this mess that I made with mascara underneath here. That's what I get for using the wrong mascara anyway. But yeah, this diamond balm underneath the foundation looks really pretty. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off on top of my foundation because I'm not a fan of all that glitter. Like, I can still see the glitter shining through, but I don't think it's so much that it's going to be scary. So, in the, I'm going to try to get a picture for you guys in front of my window so you can see what it looks like in semi-natural kind of lighting. But, I like. And, honestly, I 
side by side, you can see that this has more pink in the blush. And that one is more of a neutral tone. You can still see the bronzer. And what I wanted to do is actually take my original Fenty bronzer. This is the Coco Nori. And I want to go on top of that because then I think it'll intensify the bronze a little bit more. So this is the Morphe E3 brush. And I'm just going to go around the perimeter of my face and bronze up a little bit more. I don't even feel like I need to even go ahead and set my face. I feel like... It really feels like skin, like everything pretty much dried down. There is a little bit of transfer going on on my hands, though. I will tell you that. I'm going to take the Fenty Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Honey. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Oh, I didn't mention, but I did set underneath my eyes a little bit with a little small Morphe brush. And I just went underneath my eyes where the concealer was because it kept, you know, creasing on me. I always set my concealer no matter what. But I'm going to just take my Laura Mercier puff, take some powder. I like to rub it in between. And then let's go over. I am using my monitor here as my mirror as I do this. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. This is my finished Fenty face. Of course, I have two different blushes on, but that's all in the name of testing out products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you picked anything up from the Fenty Cheeks Out collection. If you made it to this point, I appreciate you so much. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You know guys, that really helps me out a lot. Let's everybody know that they should be watching this video as well. And if you haven't already joined the K-Squad, while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe. We would love to have you in our little community here on the little corner of the internet. So yeah guys, again, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope everything is well with you guys. And until next time, beauties, I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Lady out.